Good morning, today's lesson is 5.2. Today we're gonna write percents as fractions and decimals. Our essential question, how can you write percents as fractions and decimals? To write a percent as a fraction or a decimal, first you must write the percent as a ratio that compares a number to 100. For example, 37% is the same thing as 37 over 100. You're comparing it to the 100%, just like we did yesterday. Let's unlock the problem. Carlos eats a banana, an orange, and a blueberry muffin for breakfast. What fraction of the daily value of vitamin C does each item co contain? So if you look over here, we have vitamin C content. Our banana, our orange, our blueberry muffin. Percentage of daily value is 15, 113, and 0.5%. So write each percent as a fraction first. So if we're going to write 15% as a fraction, 15% as a fraction, we did these yesterday, is going to be 15 out of 100. Now if I want to write it as a fraction, I need to reduce it. Well, I know that 5 goes into both 15 and 100. And 5 goes into 15 3 times, and 5 goes into 100 20 times. So... 15% is the same thing as 320. The next one asks us, write 113% as a fraction. So 113%, remember if I'm doing my 10 by 10 frames from yesterday, I'm gonna, I'm gonna color in one whole, and then I'm gonna color in 13 of the other one. So 110%, so we know that we're gonna have one whole plus 13 of another one, right? One whole plus 13 of another one is gonna give me what I need. So that means I'm gonna have one whole, see I'm gonna convert this 100 over 100 to one whole, plus 13 over 100. Now I can't reduce 13 over 100 because there's nothing that goes in equally to both 13 and 100 besides one. So my answer is gonna be one and 13 one hundredths. Okay, the next one says, write 0.5 as a fraction. So 0 0.5 is a fraction. That means that's the same thing where we had our 10 by 10 chart, but on this one it's half of one square is the only thing you're coloring from the 10 by 10. So this one's gonna be 0 0.5 over 100. 0 0.5 over 100. If I multiply the top and the bottom by 10, then I get 10 times 0 0.5, which is five, and 10 times 100, which is 1,000. So I get five one thousandths. I can reduce that, because five can go into both the top and the bottom. Five goes into five one time, and five goes into 1,000 200 times. So the answer is gonna be one over 200. Now if you're wondering why I multiplied the top and the bottom by 10, it's because I wanted to get a whole number. I wanted this to be a whole number and not to be a decimal. That's the only reason. And remember when you multiply by 10, that moves the decimal place over one, right? If I had multiplied it by 100, it would have moved the decimal place over two. Okay, simply that's all I did. I was just trying to get this to be a whole number. All right? All right, reason quantitatively. Explain why two 10 by 10 grids were used to show the 113%. We did this a couple of times in the last one as well. So remember that 113% is greater than 100%. And so the first grid shows the 100% and then the second grid shows the 13% and together the 100 and the 13 make the 113%. All right, let's look at some more examples. Write 72% as a decimal. So 72%, we did this yesterday. So that's gonna be 72 over 100. So if I want to write this as a decimal now, 72, 100, so I'm going to put 0.72. So 72% is the same thing as 0.72 or 72 hundredths, right? Because this one gives you the name hundredths, and this is 72 hundredths, okay? Write 4% as a decimal. So we're going to write 4 out of 100, and then if I'm doing this in a decimal, we've got 4 divided by 100. 100 cannot go into 4, so I add my decimal. I add a 0. Again, 100 can't go into 40, so I add another 0. 100, oh, put my space over there. Um, 100 goes into 404 times, right? I had to keep bringing this down because remember 40 
wasn't enough, so I brought down another zero to make it 400. Four times 100 is 400 with nothing left over. So 4% is 0 0.04. Okay, so the next one says write 25.81 or 25 and 81 hundredths as a decimal. So again, there's my percent, 25.81 or 25 and 81 hundredths. Okay, so 25, 81 hundredths is 25.81 out of 100. So divide by 100, remember you're going to move the decimal point two places to the left, right? So if my decimal point is here, so my decimal point's right there, right? Two, five, eight, one. My decimal point was right here. So I'm gonna move it over one, two spaces. So my decimal point's gonna go right there. Point two, five, eight, one. Okay? Remember, if you're multiplying by 10, you move your decimal place over one. You're multiplying by 100, you move it over two spaces. By 1,000, move it over three spaces, and so on, right? Okay, let's put this all together with Sharon Show. So we have 80% and it says to write each, we're writing each percent as a fraction on these three numbers. These are simply just writing as a fraction. So 80% is the same thing as 80 over 100. Remember we're going to reduce, so what number can go into both 80 and 100? 80 can't go into both, right? Mm, 2 can, but that's not going to be high enough. Mm, 50 can't. Let's try... You know, let's just try the 2. So if I divided both of these by 2, right, 2 goes into 80 40 times, and 2 goes into 100 50 times. Looks like it can still reduce, because 10 can go into both of these, right? So if I divide again by 10 on top and 10 on the bottom, all I'm doing is reducing. 10 goes into 40 4 times, and 10 goes into 50 5 times. So the smallest percent fraction I can do is 4 fifths. 150, remember, this is the same thing. I have one that's going to be 100 over 100 and one that's going to be 50 over 100. So I'm going to have one whole and then 50 over 100, which 50 over 100 can be reduced because 50 goes into 50 and 50 goes into 100, right? So now I'm going to have, so if I divide the top and the bottom by 50, I get... 1 and so 50 goes into itself one time and 50 goes into 100 two times. So 1 and 1 half. Okay, this next one, again, I'm going to... Okay, this next one's a little bit tricky because remember we have the decimal. So if I do 0.2, whoops. If I do 0.2 over 100, I want to make this be a whole number. So remember, we like to be did last time. We multiply the top and the bottom by 10 because I want to move it over one space, right? So then that means my top is now going to be 2 and my bottom is going to be 1,000. So now I have 2 over 1,000. And I can reduce that because 2 goes into itself one time and 2 goes into 1,000 500 times. So my answer is going to be 1 over 500. Now these next ones, we're going to write the percents as decimals. So we have 58%, right? 58 over 100, remember, 58, you're dividing it, so you just move the decimal over two spaces, so it's going to be 0.58. So now we have 9 over 100, remember, whenever you're um, doing it by 100, it's moving it over. So I have 9, there's my decimal, 1, 2, so I put my fake 0 there, so my answer is going to be 0 0.09 or 9 hundredths, 58 hundredths. 9 hundredths, right? Because we're going by the hundredths. We are doing percents. Everything is out of a hundred. Okay, so for the rest, I'm going to have you do these ones. Remember, our writing percent is as fractions or mixed numbers. So that's taking 17%, writing my 17 over 100. Nothing goes into the 17 and the 100 other than one itself. So that one is actually easy and done. The next one's 20 over 100. And 20 goes into itself, and 20 goes into 100, right? Bring out your fraction charts if you need them. So 20 goes into 20 one time, and 20 goes into 100 five times. So the answer is going to be 1 fifth. You can do the rest of those on your own. Although this one right here I want to point out is kind of tricky because it's 355. So that means you're going to fill up three holes. You're going to fill up three holes, one, two, three holes, and a 55 
over 100. So let's see if you can get that one right. This is definitely one of the ones I'm going to be looking at when I'm grading, okay? So you've got three holes, one, two, three, and 55 over 100. So let's see if you can reduce this correctly. The next set is writing the percent as decimals. So that's where you're going to take and you're going to move your decimal over two spaces. 0.89. This is two. Move it over twice. 0 0.02. Okay, the rest are going to be on your own or with a partner. And I'm on the carpet if you need me. Good luck.